How's it going everyone? Welcome to Path to Wellness. Today's video is a shepherd's pot pie recipe. So if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button and check the bell so you're notified of all my new videos. And thanks for doing that. So out here on a walk this morning and I made this shepherd's pot pie recipe last night and I, I made a video of it. It's a good recipe. It's a whole food plant-based. It has no oil, it has no sugar, and I add a little salt, but you don't have to do that. So it can be SOS free if you'd like to make it that way, salt, sugar, and oil free. It's a great alternative for a holiday meal if you don't want to eat all that heavy meat and you want something more healthy. This is a great alternative. It also freezes really well. So I always make enough to where I can freeze some of it and then just heat it up later. It's really tasty. So wanted to share this, uh, this recipe and here it is. Okay, so here are the ingredients you're gonna need for the plant-based shepherd's pot pie. You're gonna need four large russet potatoes, three cups of frozen corn, some chives you can chop up and put on after it's done, four cups of frozen broccoli, three cups of frozen peas, a quarter cup nutritional yeast, six tablespoons arrowroot powder, and some salt and pepper for seasoning, and the equivalent of three large carrots and four cups of plant-based milk. So you'll need all that, and I had forgot to put down, uh, you'll also need an onion as well. So those are the ingredients. So first go ahead and preheat your oven to 350, and then start cooking the potatoes. Just cut, cut them up and boil them in water until they're tender. And simultaneously, go ahead and cook the onions and carrots in a large pan over medium heat, stirring them occasionally until they are, the onions are translucent and they're beginning to brown eight to 10 minutes. Combine the arrowroot powder with the plant milk in a medium bowl and whisk that well until they're blended. Next, you wanna add the peas, corn, and broccoli onto the onion and carrot mixture, and you wanna cook that until heated through for about five minutes or so. Now the one mistake I had made is I did not use a big enough uh, pot to begin with, so make sure when you start this you're using a larger pot. So I had to transfer it over to a larger pot and I cooked that for several minutes until it was heated through. Next you add the plant milk mixture to the vegetables along with the nutritional yeast and you cook until that thickens for about five minutes or so and you can season it now with some salt and pepper if you'd like. So just kind of stir that up, let it cook in there, get nice and warm and cook through. And then you want to take, you want to drain the potatoes and you want to mash them up so you have a mashed potato mixture. Then transfer the mixtures into pans so you can cook them in the oven. And it took me, I had to use two separate pans. I froze one of them, it freezes well. And go ahead and spoon the mashed potatoes over the top. So then after that, you want to bake them for about an hour on 350. And here's what it looks like at the end. Thanks for watching, everyone. Let me know what you think. Give a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.